Hello there, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Chase Sharaba, and today I have another episode of Tutorial Tuesday for you. Before I get into what this is all about, let's go ahead and roll that intro. Today on Tutorial Tuesday, we are going to talk how to create trees in Photoshop. More accurately, how to render trees in Photoshop. Did you know that with the more recent additions of Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud, that you can actually generate and render trees straight from the menu without having to do anything? Much like in one of my previous videos last year where I taught you how to create flames and fire in Photoshop, trees work exactly the same way. It's very simple to do, and the results are very good. Plus, there's some other steps you can take to make the trees even better, such as making a brush out of the trees, so that you can paint trees in any color that you want. I'll be including that in this video as well. Alright, let's hop on to the PC back here, and I'll show you how it's done. I am now on my Windows 10 PC. This technique that I'm about to show you will only work with newer versions of Photoshop Creative Cloud. First, we'll go ahead and create a new document. I'm going to pick a size of 2500 pixels by 2500 pixels, and I'm going to go ahead and click Create. First thing I'm going to do is come right down here and create a new layer. To render a tree in Photoshop is very simple. All we have to do is go to Filter, Render, Tree. I'm going to go ahead and click that. Now here, you can pick between, what, 34 different trees. So you can pick whatever you want. You can pick a cherry blossom or maybe you want an aspen or a young maple tree or a palm tree there are so many types of trees that you can render just from Photoshop I'm gonna go ahead and go with a spruce tree because it's the only one that looks like a pine or a Douglas fir and here you've got some settings you can mess with, you know, leaves, how many leaves, branch height, branch thickness. You can go ahead and mess around with them until you get a tree that you like. I'm fine with the way this spruce looks. So, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And there we have it. Photoshop has rendered a tree. That's all there is to it. Alright, now that we have successfully rendered trees in Photoshop, I'm going to show you how to make those into a brush that you can use to paint trees of any color. Now, to make a brush out of this, we need to create a silhouette. Hit Control or Command U on your keyboard. And right here where it says Lightness, I'm just going to go ahead and bring that down a bit to create this silhouette. And then I'm going to click OK. Now, to create the brush, we'll just navigate to Edit and we'll click on Define Brush Preset. I'm going to go ahead and name this. You can name it something like Tree Brush or whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to name it Spruce Brush because I already have something called Tree Brush from when I did this the first time. Now we have a brush. We can use it. You can change colors right here. It is a fully working paintbrush in Photoshop. So here I just made a random landscape really quickly with the lasso tool on a new document just to show you how to use the brush on an existing project now. So first I made a new layer. Now I'm going to select the brush tool and like I said I've used the tree brush before but if you just go right up here you can select your brush so this is the one I just made and this is the one I made previously so your brush should be somewhere in your brushes area select your new brush and first things first you're gonna wanna change a few settings before you use your brush 
So go ahead and hit F5 on your keyboard and that will pull up your brush settings. So on, under brush tip shape, if it doesn't already start there, you're going to want to increase your spacing so that if you hold your brush down it doesn't do this solid line like a normal paintbrush. So increase your spacing to whatever you feel like, you know, just until you actually have real trees. I'm going to leave it there like that. And if you're like me and you don't have a drawing pad or a tablet, be sure to go over here to Shape Dynamics and increase your size jitter so that it will alternate and randomize the size of your trees so that you're not always having to go over here and switch your size every time you want to make a tree. You can just pick a size and then as you click around, it'll have different size trees already there for you. So that looks good to me. Now I'm just going to bring the size down a little bit and show you how you can use this in your own projects. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this background layer and with Alt I'm going to select this color and I'm going to make the trees in front a little darker and a little more desaturated I think to start out then on this new layer right here I'm just gonna click and like that it is drawing trees of different sizes I should have started with a smaller size and as you can see it's alternating and you can change where you're placing it on the document to mimic sizes as well but that just adds some trees in the front of our landscape here now under this layer I'm gonna go ahead and create a new layer. Once again, I'm going to select the paint bucket tool here, hold down alt, and I'm going to select that existing color right there. Come back to my brush, make it a little smaller this time. Oh, smaller than that. And now I'm adding some trees on this hill in the distance. And as you can see, it's the, the size jitter is alternating the size of my trees as I'm putting them down. You know, and you can overlay trees. You can do whatever you want with it. And so I'm not going to finish this whole thing. I just wanted to show you what you can do with the tree brush. So I'll just do this one for fun. I'll, just, I'll finish it off with this one. Brush, make it a little smaller. This, this one's even more in the distance you know manipulate make it look like this is three-dimensional and that there's some depth to this image this illustration that I made and if you repeat that as you can see it's like the forest is more layered and it's just a really cool effect it's that easy to make a brush and use it in Photoshop alright that wasn't too bad was it it's a very simple thing to do and it's a lot of fun I've been playing around with it all week creating landscapes and stuff, but it's really cool. If this tutorial helps you at all, be sure to like it and share it on social media. And if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, be sure to do that and click on the bell icon down below this video to turn on notifications for the next time that I upload. I'm Chase Sharaba, and I'll see you next time.